this one again, uh, because when I started, of course no one cared about our film festival, and then the Japanese distributor uh, doesn't trust me at all. So I started going to Japan every year, uh, uh, 12 years ago, and every year I go in, and then they getting trust me, and then now it's because of the growing the audience, number of the audience, that's why it's the, the Japanese distributor now is trust me, and they want to show in more latest film. That's why it's for both of us, from Australian side, from the Japanese side, I think it's both got the benefit, yeah. both of us, yes. The beginning day, everybody thought it's uh, only Japan for targeting the Japanese uh, audience, yeah. I mean Japanese people. But uh, actually, uh, my aim is to introduce Japanese films to Australian audience. So it's now it's about seventy to eighty percent are Australian, oh. non-Japanese. I mean, yeah. For this year. Uh, for example, uh, this uh, the Great Passage uh, behind me uh, is opening film of uh, this year's film festival. I think this film is really showing the Japanese spirit because I think, uh, as a lot of people may know, uh, Japanese people really looking into the details, especially for the uh, in technology or everything. But this story is about just making the dictionary, Japanese dictionary. So I thought first, you know, it's just only making dictionary. How can they making the film? So, but this is, you know, with, with uh, uh, as a comedy, as a romance, as a, you know, like a never give up, give up spirits. It's extraordinary story. And that this is based on the best seller in Japan. And another film, uh, this is only showing in uh, Sydney and Melbourne, but it's called uh, Devil's Path. It's a really dark uh, film, which is based on a true case. It's a serial killer's uh, case. And uh, maybe you know the uh, Shion Sono's called the Fish, which is uh, well received in the uh, International uh, Film Festival. Uh, it's really grotesque, and then, but it's a really good film. But Devil's Pass this year, I think this is uh, one of the best one film in Japan this year. We're going to show uh, the 19 films to in the five cities, uh, Brisbane, Perth, Canberra, Sydney, Melbourne. And then the 19 films, all the uh, same films. But Sydney and Melbourne, because uh, we are expanding quite a long time, so we're adding the 20 more latest films. So in Sydney and Melbourne, it's 39 films all together, and the other three cities, 19 films. And then uh, including the five classic films, and also this is uh, free films. So if you go there, and first come, first serve, but uh, you know, everybody can enjoy that you know all the Japanese style of the you know uh, masterpiece. At the beginning, I think uh, uh, only Japanese language learners are interested in uh, uh, watching Japanese cinema or drama. But I think, as you know, as a lot of now is uh, Japanese anime is popular everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. So I think uh, it's now because of that uh, anime people, uh, anime fans. Uh, obviously want to watch the more anime yeah. and also the, uh, the those kind of fun including the Japanese cinema fun is now is uh, also the Japanese Japan fun itself so if you become a Japan fan uh, they want to know more about Japan so they want to watch more uh, other films as well so they increasing the obviously increasing the, uh, the audience of uh, Japanese cinema, I think in Australia.